Well, chemists, we are on our last day of notes for this unit. Can you believe it? That went really quick. In this video, you should be able to calculate the percent yield of a reaction. So there are two major types of yield. There's the theoretical yield, which is the maximum amount of product that can be formed from a given amount of the reactants. This is obtained from the stoichiometry. So this is essentially what we've been doing all along. You've been calculating the theoretical yield. The actual yield is the amount of product that actually forms when this reaction is carried out in the laboratory. To calculate the percent yield, you'll have to take the actual yield, which is often given in the problem, over the theoretical yield and multiply by 100. Percent yield is often considered a measure of the efficiency of the reaction carried out in the laboratory. So for example, what is the percent yield if 4.65 grams of copper is produced when 1.87 grams of aluminum reacts with an excess of copper 1 sulfate? Again, you know me by now, I did not give you the balanced equation, so that's the first thing you need. Now, students often struggle with what these numbers mean. So again, when we're looking at yield, since it's saying what is the percent yield, we know that that's what we're solving for. If it says, it says if 4.65 grams of copper is produced, so that obviously has to be either the actual or the theoretical. So if it's saying it is produced, that's assumed that it's like in the laboratory. So that is going to be the actual amount. Notice I do give you the 1.87 grams of aluminum. So that is a reactant. So that obviously can't go in our percent yield calculation. So we'll start with our 1.87 grams of aluminum. And what we're gonna try and do is based off of the aluminum, calculate how much copper is produced from the stoichiometry, which is really the theoretical value. So we'll take our mass of the aluminum, convert into moles, and then use the mole ratio between the aluminum and the copper. And then the final step is what mass of copper is formed. So we get 13.2 grams of copper is the theoretical. Right? Anytime you do stoichiometry, that is the theoretical that you're calculating. The next step is we want to know what's the percent yield. So we're going to have to take the actual, which is given in the problem, and the theoretical, which is what we calculated, and multiply by 100, just like you see there. So we get a 35.2% yield. What do you guys think? Is that a pretty good yield? If you're saying no, then you would be right. Obviously, this makes a lot of sense if you are in the pharmaceutical industry or you're trying to synthesize something, you definitely want to get as much product as possible. So this, I would say, is definitely not a very good reaction. A lot of students sometimes have difficulties with figuring out what is referring to the actual because right percent yield is actual over theoretical. So here are some context clues that might help you. So if you see the words want to make, intend to make, is produced, is formed, those are all examples of different, I guess, clues that mean it's actual. So if you have questions on this, make sure you get them answered. But really at this point, you're going to be working on an exit ticket and then you're going to begin worksheet six. Thank you so much for watching. You did a great job in this unit.